A surprise guilty plea today from a teen accused in the death of a homeless woman in Sara Mesa. Prosecutors say 19 year old Ryan Hopkins was driving when his 18 year old passenger shot 68 year old Annette Perschel several times with a pellet gun. Perschel later died from her injuries. CBSA's Richard Allen spoke with Perschel's daughter tonight, who says she hopes some good can emerge from this senseless shooting. Richard. And this unexpected guilty plea comes just a couple weeks after Ryan Hopkins entered his original plea of not guilty, as did his co-defendant, 18-year-old William Innes, who, according to prosecutors, had sent a text message in the minutes leading up to the shooting, stating, quote, I'm going hobo hunting with a pellet gun. I plead guilty. 19-year-old Ryan Hopkins pleading guilty to assault with a deadly weapon sorry, now sorry, faces up to three years in prison for his part in the May 7th shooting of 68-year-old Annette Perschel, who had been living on the streets of Sara Mesa. Police found her unconscious the following morning on Sand Rock Road. Perschel died three days later from her injuries. The whole thing is just unbelievable. Just how evil someone could be to even do that. Perschel's daughter, Brandy Nasworth, who lives in Louisiana, says that her mother had been unsheltered for the past five years, despite her attempts to convince her to move in with her. She didn't want to leave the area. Sarah Mesa was all she knew. She didn't want to come to Louisiana. And by all accounts, the local community knew Perschel, lovingly calling her Granny Ann. She was a people person. She loved talking to people. It was like, you know, sitting on your front porch in Louisiana, just talking to the neighbors. You know, that was that was her life. She was like a, I guess, like a hippie, a hippie at heart. As for Hopkins' admission of guilt earlier today. This was just a complete shock to me. Hopkins' defense attorney says he'll argue for probation for his client. This is what you would say is a classic case of aberrant behavior, a singular bad decision that is exacerbated by the criminal actions of another. One moment. And while Hopkins remains free on $75,000 bond, 18-year-old William Innes, who is charged with murder as well as firearm-related counts, remains behind bars without bail. He has pleaded not guilty. As for what Nasworth sees as justice in this case. Them being young and in prison isn't really going to help anybody. Hopefully, my family's hoping maybe they find spirit, God. We hope to see some good out of this. And Ryan Hopkins is set to be sentenced on October 27th. Nasworth says she plans to be there when the sentence is handed down. Thank you, Richard.